Welcome on board, pilots! Flying must be one of your passions and you are trying to enjoy every minute of it. We also like flying, but we suffer from the administrative burden connected to it. You don't like filling in your logbook, right? We don't either. We've had an idea to build an autofill function into the application. With this new feature, we saved a lot of time and energy for you, so now you can concentrate on what is really important for you, flying. In the following video, we are going to introduce how this new function works. Even though the aim of the autofill function is that you can get rid of the administrative burden, I think it is important for you to understand how it works. Basically, we can divide the stored information into two categories in the logbook application. There are certain types of information that you need to enter, such as the place and time of takeoff, while others are automatically shown in the application. These are the number of hours flown at night or the ground time. The application can only fill in this information for you if you provide some of them in advance. Now, let me show you how you can differentiate between the different types of information. If you take a closer look at the table, you can see that the lowercase a icon indicates those data that the application counts automatically. This way, you don't have to enter these data. However, if you would like the application to fill in these sets for you, fill in those sets yourself, where the lowercase a cannot be seen. Let's look at an example how the autofill function works in case of the calculation of time. In order to be able to calculate the number of in-flight hours, the exact time of the takeoff and landing should be entered into the application. The logbook calculates the difference between the takeoff and landing for you. For some pilots, the flight time at night is also an important information. If you enter the date of the flight, the place and time of the takeoff and landing, the application can tell you precisely how many hours you flew during the day and at night. You must be interested in where you can find the different types of information you need for the autofill of certain cells. You can find the gear sign in the menu of the logbook, which indicates the different settings opportunities. If you click on it, you can see the settings. If a certain parameter is supported by autofill, you can see the autofill settings on the right-hand side marked with orange color, and you can also see those data which are necessary to provide in order to perform the action. Similarly to the columns in the table, you can also activate or deactivate the information supported by autofill function if you prefer to enter the data yourself. In case of the checkboxes supported by the autofill function, we mark the active autofill function with this, while we indicated the inactive autofill function with this icon. What could be the problem if the data do not appear automatically? These cases come from two common mistakes. For example, when the user forgets to provide one or more important information that are needed for the calculation of the data. Another case is when the user deactivates the autofill function and that's why the application does not fill the empty cells. We hope that this short video was useful for you and you can now understand the autofill opportunities better. Did you know that you can set up your own profile in the logbook? Did you also know how the intelligence search function works? Click on our additional videos and get to know even more. Goodbye and see you in our next video.